Python is one of the most popular programming language all over the world. And now it is even used for competitive program because of its rich library and simple syntax. Now, when you get started with Python, it's all smooth and sweet sailing until you get hit with those hard algorithmic problems. And then you start suffering from this error code, time limit exceeded. However, it's not a problem of Python, it's more of the programmer's problem. I'm not saying that the language is not slow, but if the programmers write more efficient code, guess what? It will be easier and it will be faster. Now let's get started with the tips and tricks to actually speed up your Python program. The first one is quite easy and that's using proper data structures because that can significantly improve your runtime. Now here are some of the data structures that you should know, which are list, tuples, set, dictionary. And what I've noticed is that a lot of people use lists in all scenarios and that is really wrong. That's a bad habit. And please use tuples instead of a list because it's easier to iterate through tuples than actually lists. The second one we're going to talk about is list comprehension. And this is very easy. Do not use any other technique if you can use list comprehension. Let me give you an example here. Say L for list is equal to an empty list. Then we'll say for i in range, say 1 to 500, if i modulo, this is a very simple program, you should know what it does, is equal to 0, and this is in. So we we'll say l dot append i. So this is a very all we need to do is we print it, can print L, and we run this right now. I can see we have all the numbers from 1 to 500 that are divisible by 3. Now let me show you what list comprehension is. I say L is equal to a list, and basically we say I inside here for I in, in range. 1 to 500. We say if i modulo 3 is equal to 0. So this is all we need to do and we print it. You can see we have the print right here. And we get the same thing. And what you need to take from this is that list comprehension works faster than the append method. Now guys, let's talk about the second one which is using multiple assignments. Now using multiple assignments. With multiple assignments, normally we assign values like this. This is a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20, c is equal to 30, and d is equal to 50. Now what you need to know is you shouldn't assign values like this, especially in this kind of format. This is the way you need to do it. You say a, b, c, and d, and you say they're equal to 10, 20, 30, and 50. So this is the way to assign values. And this just makes your code faster. This runs faster than doing it this way. Because what you need to know is that one-liners will always run faster than multiple lines. Another thing that will make your code faster is actually not using global variables. Now, Python has a global keyword to declare global variables. But global variables take higher time during operation than a local variable. So do not use global variables only if you have to, only if they're necessary. Another great tip about making your Python code faster is the use of library functions. So what you need to know is that you do not need to use your functions manually if you already have it in the library. Because library functions are highly efficient. I'll leave some documentation in the link below about library functions if you don't really understand them. Now what we can use to actually speed up our code is using concatenate string with join. Now let me show you the way most people concatenate strings. So you say concat. We'll set that equal to Python, then we'll put the plus again, is fun. So this is how most people concatenate strings, and you can print contact. <laughs> I wanted to say contact, concat. Let me just change it to concat. So now we print it and you get it. Python is fun. Yeah, we see here Python is fun. Yeah. So now let me show you how to do it with the join. So with join, we'll say concat. We'll set it equal to, we'll create the space right here. And then we say dot join is fun. So we can see right here that this is going to create a space for each of these words. So now let's run it. You can see Python is fun. 
The join concatenate string is faster than the plus operation because the plus operator creates a new string and then copies the old content at each step. But the join method doesn't work that way, so that makes it faster. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is the use of generator. So if you have a large amount of data in your list and you need to use one data at a time for once, then use the generator because it saves you a lot of time. So let me show you the difference. In this case, the way you would do it, which is not the efficient way, you say L is equal to this empty list and you have data inside there. And then you say for element in set L. So this is what it is. And basically you'll do something here. Now this code right here might seem more efficient because it uses set to actually delete all the duplicate data. But the reality is that the code is not that efficient because you need to remember that you're converting a string into a set that takes time. So the code will work better without you actually using the set. And we'll say for element. So we'll say for element in L. So this way is way better. Now, this is another one we need to talk about, and that is something that a lot of people do, and that is using the dot operator. So this is what the dot operator is. You import math. So you import math right here, and then we say this value is equal to math the square root and then we say 25. So this way right here is not really the more efficient way. The more efficient way is us saying from math, I want you to import square root. So when we do this, all we need to do is say value is equal to square root and we'll put 25 there. So this way right here is more efficient and creates faster code than actually this. Because when you call the function using the dot, you first call the get attribute, which then uses the binary operation that costs time. So instead, what you should do is you say from module import function. In our case, the module is math and the function is square root. And yeah, guys, that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you learn from it. Hopefully you actually start practicing these new things. All you need to do is just start making them a habit and you'll see that your code will be naturally faster. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. But yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one.